Hello, and we are b -b 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 back for some more Shelton shenanigans. Um, if you are watching this during quarantine, you will know that we have been um, reading a chapter book, but we are not reading a chapter book today. So this is a little fun bonus video. Um, if you're not watching this during quarantine, then thanks for checking out uh, some old videos. Oldies but goodies. Kind of like Miss Shelton. Okay, um, so today we're going to uh, read the Berenstain Bears. Um, and comment down below if y'all see any books over here um, that you want me to read next. Um, I'm going to try and post throughout. Um, post throughout. <laughs> Words are hard. I'm going to try and post often. Um, so that you have um, other books to listen to other than the chapter books and the same like five or six books that are already on there on the channel. So this book is The Berenstain Bears and Too Much TV, which I felt like was appropriate during quarantine. And it's by Stan and Jan Berenstain. So let's get started. It was a fine spring day in bear country. The bluebirds were singing, the trout were leaping, and except for one small cloud of dust billowing behind the school bus as it came over the hill, the air was sparkling clean. Mama Bear was inside, in the, inside the family's treehouse, fixing brother and sister bear after school snacks. Brother and Sister Bear got off the bus and came into the kitchen with hardly a hello. Then they did what they did every day. They took their milk and cookies into the living room and switched on the TV. There's no question about it, thought Mama. Those cubs are watching too much TV. Later, when Papa Bear came in from his shop and joined Brother and Sister, Mama became even more convinced. There's absolutely no question about it. The whole bear family is watching too much TV. It says, oh, over here. It says the Nutty Bear Show. She wasn't quite sure how it happened. Maybe it began when the old fuzzy pictured black and white set broke down and they got a bigger new color set. Set is like the TV. Or maybe it started when Papa put out the big antenna on top of the treehouse and brought in pictures from all over Bear Country. Pictures are like different channels. But however it happened, one thing was sure. The Bear family was spending more and more time watching television and less and less time with all the other things they might be doing instead. The Bear family had always had lively conversations around the dinner table, but not lately. Lately, they just sat around and chewed. The cubs had all kinds of fun playing outdoors, but not anymore. They were too busy watching Nutty Bear and the Bear Stooges. That evening after dinner, when brother and sister scampered in to turn on the TV, Mama stopped them and said her piece. I've, I've decided we've been watching all together too much television around here. But Mama, said Brother, Nutty Bear is coming on and we're going to miss it. And the Bear Stooges, added Sister. Well, you'll just have to miss them then, said Mama firmly. And furthermore, she added, you may as well get used to the idea because there's not going to be any television around here for one whole week. No TV for a week, said the shocked cubs. Shocked cubs. But, 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 but Mama! She looks like she's made up her mind. Never mind the butts, said Papa. Your mother is absolutely right. There's a lot more to life than that TV. Like homework, for instance, and fresh air and sunshine and exercise. No TV for a week is an excellent idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's a sports show I want to watch, said Papa Bear. Just a moment, Papa, 
said Mama. No TV for a week means you too. The, but, what? Said Papa. You, you can't be serious. You see how she snapped? Oh, where is it? She, 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 she snatched that collar. She said, mm -mm. He looked so shocked. But Mama was very serious. What about the news? Protested Papa. I won't know what's going on in the world if I don't watch the TV news. Here, try this, said Mama. It's called a newspaper. And the weather, continued Papa. How will we know what the weather's going to be? Try this, said Mama. It's called putting your hand out the window to see if it's raining. What are we supposed to do? Just sit around and talk? Asked Brother. That'll be fine for starters, said Mama, settling comfortably into her rocking chair. But it had been so long since the Bear family sat around and talked that they had sort of forgotten how. It really didn't matter, because pretty soon Papa fell asleep and snored so loudly that they wouldn't have been able to hear each other anyway. After school the next day, the cubs looked longingly at the TV, but Mama shooed them out to play. Brother's bike had a flat tire that needed pumping, and Sister's trike needed a little oil. And while it seemed strange to not be watching television, it was fun riding bikes and trikes again. Sort of. That evening, the cubs worked on their homework, but it wasn't easy with that blank TV just sitting there staring at them. Then Sister noticed an ad in Papa's newspaper, an ad for a TV special. Oh, Mama, she said, look, a special. No TV for a week means no TV for a week, answered Mama. And besides, Mother Nature has a much bigger special waiting for us. We're going to start sitting outside and watching the stars come out. Watch the stars come out, complained Sister. I don't know if I can stand the excitement, complained Brother. But as they sat out under the great sky, a spell came over the bears. It was so big and beautiful. The bears stared at the sky. So far, not a single star. Look, cried Sister, something flying. Bats, said Papa, out for their breakfast of insects. Breakfast, asked Brother. That's right, answered Papa. Bats sleep during the day, so this is their breakfast time at night. <gasps> I see a star, cried Sister. They had found the first tiny star of the night. Soon there were others, and after a while, the whole sky was full of stars, and it was very special, more special than anything they'd ever seen on TV, and it was a much sharp, sharper picture, too, and a much, much, much bigger screen. The Bear family did all sorts of interesting things over the next few days, so interesting that they stopped even thinking about TV. They went on a nature walk and watched tadpoles hatch out of eggs. They watched an orb spider spin a magnificent web. They went shopping at the Bear Country Mall. Sister used some, kind, used some of her savings to buy a knitting spool and some yarn, and Brother bought a cube puzzle. That's a Rubik's Cube. They did, they did have to keep an eye on Papa, though. Where y'all think he's sneaking to? When they were at the mall, the cubs caught Papa in the TV store, sneaking a look at a game show. Another time, he went downstairs in the middle of the night for a peek at the late, late movies, but Mama and the cubs stopped him just in time. The next evening, it was the last day of their no TV week, and the Bear family was having a lively conversation at the dinner table. They all agreed that the week had been a success, but Brother had a question. Mama, he asked, what is it you don't like about TV? What do you have against it? Goodness, said Mama, I don't have anything against TV. I like it. What I'm against is the TV habit. Sitting in front of it all day, day after day, like old stumps waiting to dry, rot, 
waiting for dry rot to set in. Well, said brother, tomorrow I'm going to start, I'm going to start doing better. I'm going to get a whole bunch of snacks and watch TV all day. That doesn't sound better, said mama. Me too, said sister. Me too, said papa. But the only one who did watch it all day was papa, because brother got interested in his cube puzzle and finally solved it, and sister started knitting a rug on her knitting spool. Finally, even Papa had enough and decided to bait his hook for a couple of those leaping trout outside. So that was our little bonus book. Hopefully you liked it. Um, Comment below if you think that you may be watching too much TV or YouTube. YouTube also counts because I know for a fact... And you know who y'all are. They, some of y'all spend way too much time on YouTube. So, um, get outside. Go get some fresh air. Anything other than just sitting inside bored all day. It's good for your brain. It's good for your muscles. I promise. And remember to take deep breaths. Get some of that fresh air in your lungs. Okay. Um, until the next video. I love you. Bye.